Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so you join me today on a commercial paid shoot, okay? And um, we're gonna meet the client in a minute, Andy. Um, he's a very keen photographer, takes some amazing photos. Um, but what I thought we'd do today is we're gonna do a one light outdoor portrait, okay? Very simple kit. Um, we'll go through the kit in a bit when we get there. We're in mid Cornwall, beautiful spot as you've just seen. Um, so we'll head off now and go and meet the client and we'll talk to you in a second. Okay, we're here. If it sounds like I'm out of breath, it's because I am. Um, we've just climbed up to the top of this rock pinnacle that you'll see in a minute. Um, it's incredibly hot. Um, there's no wind, no breeze. It's just perfectly still. Um, so I'm not going to be bothered about the softbox blowing over today. The view is spectacular, but remember, we're here for the client. Okay, I'll show you the client in a minute. He's, as I said, a very keen photographer. He's, um, he wants his portrait shooting. Um, he's got a large format. Um, I think it's an, an intrepid field camera. Um, so we'll go and have a look at that. But okay, back to the photography bit. It's about him, it's about his camera, it's about what he does, he's passionate about the outdoors. So that's the main thing to capture. And that's probably the main thing as well when you think about lens choice, um, that you want to capture some of the surroundings but make sure that the image is about him okay it's all got to be about his story i'll probably go for my favorite 24 to 70 2.8 nikon lens perfect lens for the job um, we might have a look at the 50 and 85 millimeter lenses but i want to make sure that not only do i get some of the background in it's nicely blurred out but not too much i want to show the distance and the story that he's trying to tell so we'll just go and have a look at the subject the client andy and his camera for a minute okay okay so there's andy with his camera um and so as i said before it's one light shot okay so there's our softbox now and in, a couple of interesting things now is um, I'm very keen on light so you can see that I've taken the diffuser off it's a very bright sunny day all right the sun is up there look let's burn your eyes out um, you need to match your light source with the natural light source of what's happening I understand it's come my hour fake light or artificial light is coming from a different direction than the actual sun but we need to match the quality of the light um, that we're getting from a natural light source so at the moment it's quite harsh yeah if you um if you look at andy's shadows on that rock over there you can see it's quite harsh if you look at the shadows on andy's neck andy you're a star for doing this thank you um, you can see that the shadows are quite harsh so our light source also needs to be quite harsh so we've taken the diffuser off okay that's going to give us a nice harsh light source to match our the, the the light falling on our subject okay right the boring bit camera um i have gone for the 24 to 72.8 um, however okay this sun as you can see is incredibly bright to do what i want to do um, and to make andy stand out and darken that background we need to use the badger on full power i'm talking 10 you can probably see up there it's on 10 okay um, if we're going to high speed sync it'll only go to eight so we I've got it set on 10, therefore we're not in high speed sync. We need to shoot at 250th of a second. But again, it's perfect because we can take our f-stop right up to f22, f18, f22. Everything's in focus in the background, which is what we wanted. We wanted to show Andy in his environment. Okay, so let's just, I'll show you, let's put this into 
live view and you can see our setup there there we go um, and I'm going to ask Andy in a minute to um, in fact let's do that now so this is totally guess guys we've I've got it set on full power I've got my I'll show you here look um, no I won't show you that one we'll take it off live view and I'll show you the information so there's my settings 250 f22 like I said ISO 100 all right the flash is switched on the badger unit is switched on we're going to go for a shot so this is totally off the cuff um, um, right okay let's see what we get Andy if you can just sort of stand towards your camera and then let's have a relationship between you and the camera so yeah put your hand on it take you perfect mate you need to be you need to be a model you need to be a model right okay so guys this is totally off the cuff i don't know how this is going to turn out all right let's just check the focus and we're going to shoot now okay andy uh no hang on let's just let me the uh, composition is not quite right let's just bring that back a little bit okay Okay, right, that's a better composition. So let's shoot this again. And I've not checked the settings yet, guys. So let's have a look. Okay, that's it. Just come in a little bit handy towards your camera. That's it. And look kind of over my shoulder here, but look at me. That's it. Okay, chill, relax. Okay, and let's... There we go. Okay, and... Well, I'm a bit amazed, actually. That is, as you've just seen, totally off the cuff. Um, that's exactly what I wanted. Um, you can see the, the surroundings is a little bit darker and Andy's nicely popped out of that picture, okay? So we're going to take a few more shots and um, just see how we go, all right? Well, I'll tell you what I'll do as well. Let's switch the flash off. So I'm going to just switch this flash off. Andy, just get into the position again that we discussed. And I'm just going to shoot again and you'll see there you go so that's what the flash is doing that's with it off and then switch the flash on and I'm going to shoot and you can see the difference that that one flash is making totally awesome absolutely awesome image okay we're going to just shoot a few little shots here and then we might change positions all right so let's see how this comes out Right, Andy. Okay, just lean into the camera. That's it, perfect. Look at me, perfect. Okay. And again, that's it. Just drop that hand on in front of your chest. That's it, perfect. Look over that side to the... Okay. So guys, that is how simple it can be. The difference between that one light makes is absolutely stunning. It will transform and pop your images. Okay, um, great little bit of kit. Simple settings, um, but just an awesome image. Okay, so we're going to go off and we're going to do a few more shots and um, see what we can achieve. But yeah, there we go. All right, so thanks for joining us, and um, I'll post the results so you can see what we've taken. Bye bye.